rays glide through an abundance of tropical fish. A moray eel watches. A scuba diver passes by. A tropical reef in Brooklyn? Nine high school seniors from the New York Harbor School have been diving at the New York Aquarium in Coney Island. It's the only place where you can dive coral reef right off the F train. When I took the kids to go dive there for the first time, one of our students, Justin Rosales, looked down at the water and he went, I've never dove with fish before. <laughs> the minute I went in the water, like my head in the water, I was like, whoa, this is epic. Like, this is so cool. Seeing all these tropical fish that I usually saw in the Bahamas and seeing them here in New York in a tank, it was almost like a dream. <laughs> I mean, New York City is completely surrounded by water, but most of its citizens barely have any access to it. So Harbor School started with the mission of bringing kids to the water and making them the ones that were there to protect and restore the water. New York Harbor School is a public high school on Governor's Island, and we teach a normal Regents high school curriculum that's centered around restoring the harbor and learning maritime careers. In the winter, we can't dive in New York Harbor. It's too cold to be safe. The aquarium allows our kids to continue logging dives throughout the winter. We've been diving at the aquarium just for a few months. And it's one of those real world things that the kids can do where they actually take the skills that they've learned in school and they apply it to something that has to get done. Students are primarily at the aquarium scrubbing the algae off of the, uh, the artificial coral that's there. The aquarium has divers in their exhibits daily cleaning off the algae, and without that cleaning, the algae would take over the exhibits, obscure the fish, make it hard for anybody to see what was going on in there. But they're also interacting with the public, and I think that's what the kids enjoy the most on some level, is being able to go up to that window and wave at that little kid and blow that little bubble. You just feel, feel different, like feel special about it. I really love this class, I adore it. They think the fish and the people can't see them, and it's really surprising when you wave at them and you point and you put your hand on the glass and there's a six-year-old kid who puts their hand right where your hand is. It's really amazing to see New York City kids, some of them who are having a really hard time academically, transform into superheroes for little kids by just entering a tank and doing a few stunts. <laughs> it's a really sort of golden opportunity to help these kids perhaps go into a career that they wouldn't have otherwise even thought of. The kids get out of this, first and foremost, they love it. Um, it keeps them coming to school. It keeps them engaged in a senior year that often sees kids dropping off or sometimes dropping out. Um, attendance for these aquarium sessions is 100%. When I'm under the water is when I really get to think. I'm like really in touch with my thoughts. I don't think I would have had that experience anywhere else. They gave me a, a humongous chance, you know, and every day I'm like, I'm like kind of grateful for that. Cause you know, a lot of kids don't have the, the opportunity. Like you don't hear a kid like every day saying, yeah, I scuba dive. 